Now we know what's happening here. It uh, looks like a sled and moves like a skateboard. Its proper name is Self-Initiated Prone Progression Crawler, or SIPSI, and its purpose is to teach infants the skill of crawling, a crucial part of a child's development. We know that that crawling phase coincides with the development of a lot of other skills in development, such as communication. It's, it's not until the children learn to crawl that they start to make utterances. That's a strategy. That's what we want to see, how you try to navigate those terms. Researchers at the University of Oklahoma College of Allied Health are working in conjunction with engineering students at OU and researchers at Virginia Commonwealth University, testing the robotic crawler device with infants who do and don't have cerebral palsy. We don't know of any particular intervention that has been shown to be very effective with these infants during the first year of life. And the one skill that a lot of infants who do not have cerebral palsy have got that the children with cerebral palsy do not have is prone locomotion. The SIPSI helps give infants prone locomotion. And since the SIPSI is equipped with special sensors, researchers can gather a wealth of data on the baby's learning and mobility patterns. Mothers whose children participated in the study say their children seem to take to it well. She really liked it. Um, it took her a couple times to, to really start figuring out, but I mean, just watching the patterns of, it, of her learning was really amazing. Researchers believe by helping children crawl, they may also trigger the brain to make important connections that could lead to developmental gains for children challenged by cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, spina bifida, and other disorders. And so what we are hoping then with this information, we now need to know is the brain learning? Are there new connections? And what do they look like? Um, so this is where we are going to be going next. If successful, researchers say the device might someday be mass produced and sold commercially. This is Teresa Green reporting. Oh, 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 oh.